Mass shooting at a high school in Georgia. This is the eighth school shooting of the new school year in the United States. Four people were killed, two students and two teachers. Nine more people were wounded, eight of them students. We are learning more about the victims of this tragedy and the suspected gunman. A student at the school, just 14 years old. He will be charged with murder as an adult. Aaron Katursky is standing by with the very latest on the investigation. But first, Faith Abube starts us off on the scene there at the high school in Georgia. Good morning, Faith. Yeah, good morning to you, Robin. Flag Zero on campus were flying at half staff this morning. This community just now beginning to start to process the horrific events that happened inside the school building yesterday. Overnight, officials reassuring them that there was only one shooter and that teenage suspect remains in custody this morning. This morning, an urgent investigation underway after police say a 14-year-old went on a shooting rampage inside a Georgia high school, killing two fellow students, two teachers, and injuring nine others. I never imagined, I never imagined that I would be speaking to the media in my career over something that happened today, the pure evil that happened today. Officials identifying the suspect as Colt Gray, a student at the school. He will be charged with murder and he will be tried as an adult. This student, Lila, told CNN the shooter was in her math class. She says he abruptly left the class and then tried to get back inside. They lock automatically, so you have to be let in to come back into our classroom. So I think he wanted to come to us first to shoot us class. He turns to the classroom to what would have been my right, um, and he just starts to shoot, and you hear like, about 10 to 15 rounds back to back. He never really talked. He was pretty quiet. He wasn't there most times. Either he just didn't come to school or he just would skip class. But even when he would have talked, it was one word answers or just short statements. Police say calls of an active shooter started coming in around 1020 Wednesday morning. What's happening to the hot school? I don't know. Within minutes, they were on campus helping the school resource officers already at the scene. Officers finding the suspect with an AR-15 style rifle. They say he surrendered without incident. The shooter quickly realized that if he did not give up, that it would end with an OIS, or an officer involved shooting. He gave up, got on the ground. In this video from our affiliate WSB, police scene investigating the alleged shooter's house for evidence. Authorities identifying the victims as 14-year-old students Mason Shamerhorn and Christian Angulo, teachers Richard Aspinwall and Christina Aramy. Senior Fabian Williford was in class when he heard the first round of gunshots. The guns sound like, like balloon popping, but like 10 times louder. Sophomore Alexandra Romero filming this video from inside her classroom. Officers leading her class to safety. I saw like my math teacher and um, he was all covered. I saw blood everywhere. 10th grade world history teacher Stephen Cramble protecting roughly 28 students when his class was notified they were on a hard lockdown. There was a second of like in my head I just felt death like cross my mind. Well, there was a moment where I'm like, I might die today. 11th grader Henry Vanderwalt frantically texting his mother. I think there was a school shooting. We heard gunshots and the police shouting. We're all in hard lockdown. Moments later, texting, I love you. Gwendolyn Cook rushing to the football field where the students were safely gathering, looking for her grandkids alongside hundreds of other frantic parents. Everybody came to get their children. Overnight, an emotional vigil. We are praying for you and for our entire community. A heartbroken community gathering together amid tragedy. And Michael, a bit of good news here. Officials saying that all nine victims who were injured in this shooting are expected to survive and also recover well. In the meantime, though, school is closed for the rest of the week as investigators try to get at a motive.